Hey there everyone, this is Cass with SCNS Live. Thank you so much for listening. If you'd like to check out the video version of this, you can check it out on YouTube. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, all at SCNS Live. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Episode of SCS. Oh, sure. The one time you don't Well, the one time he doesn't say one specifically for you. We're happy that you all joined us this evening. Good day to you all out there in internet land. Who is this? I'm not sure what's happening. Screw that noise. Welcome to our new episode of SCS. Oh, super cool. When you, you your dragons. When loud, you, <laughs> loud noises. I when, would like to apologize. I was not the one that made such brutish noises on this not classy, this week. classy show. Not this Ooh. week. Can you? I am Jason the Tenth. <laughs> <laughs> when did the Jason, Cree take you over? <laughs> Jason von Bruce Lust the Tenth. <laughs> what are you writing? Anyway, like I said, he's a Cree. Going, and this evening is one of those special shows because we've dragged every cast member out. For this show. So like I said, I'm Jason X, the lady over here, that's Kat. What are you what are you doing? She's drawing something. She's drawing badly. Oh, is this a <laughs> 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 Oh like my god, that would suit your new persona. You, you know, if you're really classy, you you're, you're draw me a monocle. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> you ungrateful really classy. They're never happy, are they? <laughs> Did you well, that's a good shot. That's good. <laughs> Don't hit the TV land people, uh, internet land people. Just gonna take over. Yeah, and, uh, uh, that's Cat. Yeah. I'm Cass. This is Bryce. No, no, that's no, marginally unfriendly. Uh, mildly unpleasant. Did we change it? <laughs> stick, <laughs> stick with one name. No, eventually we're just gonna get all of us. Tonight's show true. brought to you in 3D, thanks to Cat. <laughs> I'm gonna be aggressively antisocial. I think. Yes. <laughs> you gotta make an Instagram too. Though. Okay. It, can it all be just pictures of all of us being like? Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm Ricardo. That's Hi. Ricardo. I've been on the show since before I got married. Now I'm a married man. Yay. Yay. And then flex, but whatever. Also, Cora's here. Hi, everybody. She does the real work. She's a real boss of the show. I don't me. think anyone doubts that. What <laughs> we do funny. is not work. Yeah, we just talk and stuff. You know, she's actually like, making things happen back there. She yells at us and hits us with a switch. She is very uh, No, I don't, I, don't, I don't use switches. I used Nerf guns and wadded up pieces of paper that fall on my desk. Then why did you make me go outside and pick that stick off the ground? That was your foolishness. <laughs> oh, that... You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I can think of to say can just go so wrong okay. so fast. So, so welcome to a new on. show, guys. And, uh... Well, we actually do have a lot to get through this evening, so I'm not going to stall anymore. Let's kick it off with some super cool nerd news. Mm -hmm. Now it's hard to choose news stories this week. I know everyone's wondering why are they picturing a big ass black hole out there? There's one thing; it's very large and it's there. But that's not the thing that I want Nobody to talk about. Nobody was wondering that. I was wondering yeah, that. There are people wondering. Anyway. <laughs> But um, I found something even more disturbing that happened here recently, and it's in Japan. Now, we all hope that our children are bright and smarter than us and strive to lead us into the future. And then sometimes our kids are a little too smart for their own age and somehow acquire uranium. Wait, what? A 16-year-old high school child in Tokyo, through a Twitter deal, yes, a was able to what? acquire <laughs> uranium through another 19-year-old kid who was also making high explosives and firearms. Wait. But that's not Frank all, Castle? ladies and gentlemen, because not only was this 16-year-old child able to acquire the uranium, he was able to weaponize it and make it into yellow cake, which he then attempted to sell. <laughs> what? I would like to add, what? this what? is not a fake story. I researched this up and down. Uh, they have not released his name yet. This literally happened on the 10th. They are still investigating. They're also checking to see if, oh, I don't know, anybody's dying from radiation poisoning. I, oh, um, gosh. Deadpool is. 
Deadpool sperm. That's, um, he's quite an entrepreneur. So this substance came up missing. It is 99.9% .9 pure. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's not a funny story. But it's so <laughs> the uh, MPD in Japan was able to seize all of the uranium, and it is now being, you know, kept in something I'm pretty sure is safer than whatever it was being kept in. Um, so yeah, no word yet if anybody from the family has developed superpowers or cancer. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hmm. more I'm... news will be coming from there this. are. There, there are so many questions. How did the 19-year-old get the uranium in the first place? He bought and it. He was also making Twitter. a... No, the, the, first, <laughs> no, no, no. the other 19-year-old. Yeah, it's like, okay, the 16-year-old got it from the 19-year-old, but how did the 19-year-old get it? He probably got it off Craigslist. And speaking of which, <laughs> got it off the 19-year-old was actually making a type of explosive <laughs> that I remember from my military days. Oh. And there are varying degrees to explosive. There's a, <clears throat> he was making the one that is the worst. That is the maximum effort explosive. Big boom. I would not want to be within a mile of where he was making this stuff. Because oh. it would probably break every window in this house. Oh. I want to know how he was advertising it. I, 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 uh, yeah. Also, the kid who was making the explosive may have been telling his uh, one of his teachers at school. And the teacher just basically was like, hey, yeah, he's making the explosive. I mean, I mean to, when to you're saying, fair, hey, I've got uranium, like, yeah, I would be like... That's the 16-year-old that was weapon... Not only got a hold of it, but was able to weaponize it into yellow cake. Man. And then figured, hey, I could probably make a couple of bucks off of this. You know, at least, these they, days. You know at least they weren't making drugs. So, I'll give them that. So. You know? <laughs> Way to go, guys. No. <laughs> Jason's you're not allowed to give props this for isn't, making yellow oh. cake. No. This isn't better. <laughs> oh, it's not? I like as, you. As a father, oh. this terrifies me. Yeah. Yeah. Drugs typically only ruin your own life. I'm marginally unfriendly, so I'm... The, the last thing I want is to come home I'm and then suddenly realize, the hey, part. one of my teeth just fell out. I wonder why. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, so did he have like a... been seized now, and they are basically connecting the dots on how this child was able to acquire... I mean, he had gloves and stuff, right? Like, he had You know to be... what? This isn't anything that you can buy from a store, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Like, yeah, like, like talk. Like, <laughs> no, like, the you... <laughs> Yeah, handle the like, like some winter gloves. Where are eye protection? Where are eye protection? He's been a wily coyote. Like what's <laughs> left is just the dust, which is strangely pretty for tonight's brand. topic. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, and please go on to that since the good segue. That wasn't a good segue to my story. But speaking of great news, <laughs> I, thought you said, I know what you're. To yeah. our topic no, tonight, not to the Avengers, Jason. She said story. Sorry. Yeah, why don't story. you open your listening ears? My story ears. is somebody's trying to make a real world battle royale. Now. Oh yes, I did hear about this. You might be horrified, <laughs> but it's not bad real world. It's good re real world. I think this is awesome. This guy is trying to buy an island. He was on Hush Hush, the luxury shopping web hub that I spend all my time on. <laughs> Where do you think I get Hush -hush? these t-shirts? It's called Hush Hush. It's a luxury shopping hub, and he's seeking an island that he's trying to buy. And on Hush Hush, he's looking for a designer for an arena for a hundred person battle royale. They're going to have airsoft guns, and oh. they're going to have like laser armor that lights up if you hit any part of it. And they're going to have 12 hours on, 12 hours off oh. in a three day battle royale event. Oh, I thought we were going to throw that all actually Republicans sounds like fun. in there. Right? It just sounds awesome. I mean, it does sound awesome, yeah. but death and. Unfortunately, death. I was hoping it was going to be. That was what you blood. were hoping for. Fewer deaths, you heathen. I almost took our effort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it, just do it. I'm all... Okay, F word didn't come. You fucking heathen. Like, that's the only time I've ever said Yeah, you don't get to use it tonight, Jason. <laughs> Yes, I took our money. Thank you, YouTube. Correct. It's not supposed to be real. We need to have a swear jar. Days, he's going to pay a designer like 1,500 pounds a day or something, I think, for three months to design this, and they're going to do it. And no why are we yet. not designing it? You know what? I was mad. They took away my only superpower by giving the contestants 12 hours off. The only way I win something like this if it's three days straight. Because I can stay up for three days and a lot of people can't. You said 1,500 pounds, right? So this a day. isn't an American. 
this is a European doing this? We don't know. We don't know for sure. Okay. We don't know. Like, I don't know how legal it is to do some of this yeah. stuff or how, like... I mean, apparently... But that's what the... That, it said pounds... It's not killing anybody. Par- well, apparently I mean, you can get a bunch fine. of rich people on an island and do pretty much whatever you want to them. Who cares about legal? The fire if was... people are pissing you off, just go buy Yellow Cake Uranium. <laughs> 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 From <laughs> Japan. That's actual advice. We don't condone the use of I think it's cool. I think it's, I think it's cool. I think it would be fun. Yeah. Like, I would do it and in different No one has to die, so there. Yeah. So, do you get to tap out? or? There's 12 hour days, and then they have 12 hours off. Oh, I assume people. you don't get to tap out, but I also assume that with the armor, it doesn't hurt to get shot. Yep. Huh. Well, what if you need a snack really bad? Well, then you say, bring it with you. Hide. I'm sorry, yeah. your paleo I'm sorry, or whatever I eat, isn't I eat seven welcome. times a day. I like to snack. Then don't do that's that's my concern. Hey, you don't have a bag around. with you. You just have to find a quiet place. I don't think anybody's going to respect your motion. <laughs> 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 I'm out of one. I need a power block. I need a string <laughs> cheese. Need, Hang on. You can have slow gems, orange right? slices. No, string cheese. <laughs> You'll survive. String cheese is yeah. awesome. Oh. What am I thinking? You're going to die. Munchables? No, paleo, you can't have cheese. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not paleo. What matters is you're going to die. He's keto. No, I, I, said paleo. I was making What'd fun of What'd you say, Jason? You, the, the only thing, you're going to die because you're more worried about a snack <laughs> yeah. than living. Okay? That's right. Or winning. So. Winning. You're out there, like, taking yeah. off your gloves. Like, <laughs> I can't get into my string <laughs> cheese, trying guys. Quiet, trying to quietly open a granola bar. That's what pisses me off about eating I spilled healthy, my almonds. Is that if you're eating healthy, that your system can't take, like, fast food and stuff that's not fair yeah <laughs> like if you eat healthy overall you should be able to abuse your system for a few days and be fine it's not how it works yeah, it's garbage. The, 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 so the, every the, once in a while i like to go to an amusement park and you know just f up myself yeah i mean you can but the more you do it the more your, your body she is said if you eat healthy i know and saying then you know every once in a while you gotta go to an amusement park and just oh, okay okay yeah. i thought you were saying that that's what you no did, no no like, no no yeah but you the healthier healthy. you eat the less prepared your system is <laughs> to go sucks. to an amusement park and eat whatever that you sucks. want yeah that blows that's stupid yeah i don't subscribe to that it's just the name of this park better be good that's all i gotta say oh we don't know it better be good it's called jurassic park no yeah, that's we their real. That they again. were they were Jurassic planning grass. the surprise to be the we dinosaurs, but it's unfortunately, called... everyone knew what Jurassic. She let the dinosaurs was. out. That dumbass. Ja- I'm sorry, sorry. It's called Paleo Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were. How about Paleo Drones for you to hunt and eat? Hunter gatherer kind of. Yeah, if you're Paleo, you can yeah. eat vegans. It's yeah. fun. The games of hunger. <laughs> there, right, got it. Okay. Back on the track. Speaking of copyright, that's all. <laughs> Go right. Oh, oh off it does have anything to do with copyright. Cass, what have you got for us this week? Okay, so uh, the DC Universe app launched, and we're all like, we yeah, all okay. cared. <laughs> Uh, Titans came out, uh, it was a good season, they finished their first season several months ago, it was a good season, but it had one particular element that you need from a Teen Titans show that was severely lacking, and, uh, especially a show that stars not one, but a couple of Robins that is kind of centered around Batman, it was missing something, what was it? Batman! And uh, oh, we actually Batman. got news today that uh, Batman will be in season two, um, and he will be played by none other than Ian Glenn. Uh, if you watch Game of Thrones, uh, Ian Glenn played Jorah Mormont. He's one of my favorite actors in Game of Thrones. I think he's an amazing, amazing actor. And Just I think caused her to have a problematic fave situation with because Jorah's problem. Jorah's not a great guy but Ian Glenn he's so so good in this part he, he brings a nuance to roles that is just absolutely amazing which is going to be needed with the interpretation of Bruce Wayne so far as we know him in Titans he was particularly violent there's a lot of things that they accused Bruce Wayne of in Titans season one that is just not Batman at all and so I'm really interested to see what an actor of this caliber can kind of adjust in Bruce Wayne. He is going to have to dye his hair. Because he's a natural ginger. But I'm yeah. excited. I figured Other out the that, twist. He looks like a hero. Rude. I already figured out the twist. All right, go ahead, M. Knight. He is not Batman. It's not Bruce Wayne. It is going to be Hush. It's going to be Tommy Elliot. 
it's possible. What? Get like it. he's gonna play. He's gonna be Bruce Wayne. You think the, but it's actually the one that we're the one that we've been talking about this whole time. It's hush. In Titans isn't Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Honestly, that would be that would be interesting because there's. Uh, I don't want to give away spoilers. There's a lot that they're they said that their Bruce Wayne did, and I get that Dick Grayson has a lot of issues with Bruce Wayne a lot yeah, of the he's time. Got some some baddie issues. I don't know, and that would be dumb. I, I'm really hoping that Ian Glenn can bring just a whole new spin to this character, and I absolutely believe he can. He's a an amazing actor. A new spin to Bruce Wayne? A new spin to Bruce Wayne. You heard it here first. A new spin. It's never been done before. That's not my doubt over his talents. It's just like... I just, it's just can you bring up besides I've got mommy and daddy issues, not just like a... I just want to see Thomas and Martha Wayne die again. Just give me that. That's what I was about to say, <laughs> is all I want from season two of Titans is to see Thomas and Martha Wayne die. I, I mean, think I don't feel like we've seen it enough. See, it's Did they die? Nine, I don't, like, what nine. happened to them? Something happened to Thomas and Martha. I feel like they, they could have died. I, I wish somebody had shown that. I wish video, we got to though. see more of that. We are. Amber Have you ever seen the collage? The, like, yes, the it's, it's oh, nine no. videos. <laughs> nine videos. Now, now <laughs> it should be at ten. It's at 10 now with BBS added yeah. to it. So it should be at 10. Yay! 10 ways we saw the Waynes die. I guess. Can we the, get 15? The man, real world real of Batman Wayne's is if you're world. rich, half person bodyguards. Yes. It's a real Wayne's world. I had to hey. say that. <laughs> it was worth it. Uh, I want to see Alfred give everyone a stern lecture. Maybe you should watch his series. <laughs> nope. Probably won't happen. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. That's $8 that could be spent better elsewhere. You know, I did actually watch Doom Patrol. I watched, uh, I've watched three I, episodes of it so far. I like it. I Brendan like... Fraser is on an upswing. Not. No. No. I like <laughs> it. There's exactly two interesting characters. One of them is barely an interesting Swamp character. Thing better That's hilarious. all I ask. One of them is 64 interesting characters. The other one. Kind of. Are we talking about... Brendan Fraser? Nope. No. Uh oh. Brendan Fraser is not one of the two interesting characters. No, I thought you said Brendan Fraser interesting characters. I was like, Dudley Do Right is not an interesting. Dudley Do Right is an amazing He's character. He's hilarious. He's not interesting. Guy with the uh, awesome shirt there. I like that shirt. And the absolute scribbles. You like my scribbling? Yeah. <laughs> I do have a language all my own we, here. We're going to have to share Bryce's handwriting. After it's not good. It's just it's terrible. What, it's what have you got for us this week? It's got something. He's got... He's got sorry, I'm being he's mildly mean, unpleasant. You sure are. He's got doctor handwriting. I'm sorry. Hey, it's to terrible. Be, to be fair, to be fair, they say that those with the messiest handwritings are the ones that are the most creative. Yeah, they just say that. Though. Yeah. I will take that. Because do you know who says that? People with really bad handwriting. Hey, 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 hey. Thanks, buddy. Shush. I got you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Messy handwriting club. Anyways, go on. Yeah. What's your story? So, <laughs> the opposite of messy. Do you want to get clean no. in your bathroom? Well, I'm not done. Let me ask oh, the okay. question. Hang on. Is this a commercial you... for poopery? <laughs> it's not what poopery does. What? <laughs> no, it's not. How do I get this back on track? It's not good. Do you want to get clean in your bathroom with Worf? What? What? Oh, okay. Do I'm, so, I'm walking. I'm, I'm, shut up. So you have an opportunity now. You can beam any various numbers of Starfleet individuals into your bathroom, into your living room, into your garage, wherever you want to set up a... a white sheet and a and a projector hey it's gonna be fun guys <laughs> we're gonna get to beam in no. uh our favorites you know whenever we want how however often you want how if you want to be how oh i'm glad you asked good oh okay so it's atmos fx uh it's a digital decorating company uh known for projecting halloween and christmas decorations and guess what for forty dollars, let me get to the part where I can read it. Are you scrolling? <laughs> yes, I am scrolling. Okay. I don't have it memorized. For forty dollars, you can have a collection of various 
all the different beam ends of, of whether you want next gen original series you you can have you can have kirk bones and mccoy or spock whoever all kirk three of bones. them yeah kirk bones <laughs> kirk bones kirk mccoy bones and, and spock you can have them all beam in whenever bones you want and, and um and <laughs> and they'll talk to you i don't know for how long but They'll talk to you Wait, for a brief, the briefly. Was the bathroom telling... thing just an example? It was just an example. Oh, I thought yeah. you could only do in your bathroom. No, no, no. no, no. Telling I'm just you trying didn't to wipe figure out. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's like those cardboard standees that people used to get. Only we've we've enhanced the technology now. I feel like that's pejorative. It's well, you know, what? the thing is, you can actually. Here's the other thing, Jason. That's good. Apparently, they've arranged it somehow through some holographic means and technology you have to have bring in you know barkley or geordie laforge to help you with it i don't know how it works but you're going to be able to beam in your, with your friends if you want to three or more friends you can somehow do beaming technology is that it makes down? you look like you're beaming is that just walking in front of the projector i think so okay. <laughs> i'm not sure uh i've seen a brief youtube video it's out there um and it shows how the system works. It says, that's what the advertisement says, but I don't really see how the system works. But it is a, a neat little advertisement. And you know what's neat? Uh, you can now have a holographic image of Khan talking to you, well, you in, a mean, a, in a mean spirit. Which version? If that's your thing. Wrath of Khan. Wrath okay. of Khan. Older, older still, Ricardo. Okay. There is no middle ground on something like this. Like You're either going to get somebody that's not interested at all, or somebody that is... Far too interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Facebook has been hilarious with this whole thing. We've got the why is this a thing? And I do love me some bones. And then it just <laughs> has eventually led to bones in the bathroom. <laughs> well, I love this. You have to wash them before. You know what? I've said too much. <laughs> this is wow. There are, I just see this getting abused. You well, here you said, it already has been, and it's not even out yet. But. You said uh, you said wharf, but then you also said bones. How many different groups are there? Is it just OG series and next gen? It's, it's no, it's all of them. You can really <clears throat> you can get um, up to and including you can, discovery. Yeah, yep. I've seen Doug Jones. Yeah, awesome. I've, I've seen. Yep, you bet. I've seen. Um, they, they've got, bathroom, well, you can take a shower with whoever you want in there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel they've like got you're getting oh stuck in the bathroom. Thing. Well, I'm just you saying. You can't do it other places. You can't do it other places. Well, like I said, the bedroom. I said in the garage. Only bathroom, I said in the garage. Only bathroom, only but by, it's, in it's, front of your hey, toilet. Hey, it's water activated. Hey. I don't want to shower with Doug Jones. Uh, you like, don't have I to. I love in Doug Jones. In or out of costume. But like his weird, like wavy thing that he does behind him. It's got to be good for walking. But, like, it also could help scrub you down. I just oh, think it would be fun. <laughs> also, to be fair, I don't think yeah, Doug Jones would giggling. fit completely in the projection. He's too tall. They just snap off. <laughs> You're like, thanks. This is... Yeah, then you use them as a, as a wash rag. Well, <laughs> he makes little bubbles. It's great. <laughs> like I, said, I feel like they're mixing time. up Doug Jones and Star Trek with Doug Jones and Shape of Water, yeah. which would absolutely belong in the bathroom. I just yes, want it would. Blowing bubbles. I've come around. Or Abe Sapien. One of blowing bubbles in my bathroom. Yeah. Well, I'm possibly weirded out by that. Thank well, you, you know, it's going to. I'm okay. sure it's going to lead to other franchises. You're going to be able weird to. Was this originally though. A little. Like, well, we made it at least uh, twenty. A randomly, little. you made it worse. A little. What do you say? But he you know said what? Pick hard while pooping. <laughs> <laughs> and with that note, but you know what? It's going to lead to other franchises. I think <laughs> if this is successful at all, you know, you're probably going to be able to get Game of Thrones with you in your bathroom while you're on the throne. So, Marvel said, characters in Doug Hawkeye. Jones will help me wash my bones. Oh God! <laughs> said you're going to make Cora's Kirk. night. <laughs> this has gotten so far out of here. <laughs> All right. So about about a couple you, hours ago. Speaking of about, yeah. Marvel, go ahead. Yeah, speaking of Marvel, a couple, couple of hours ago. Um, don't know how this happened. Don't know how we kind of missed it, but we caught it uh, here towards the tail end. Um, they announced a lot for Disney Plus in the last couple of hours. Um, so I'm going to start off with the big one. It's launching November 12th of this year. 
for six ninety nine a month. That's crazy. So let me crazy. see that again. Six ninety nine a month, or you can pay sixty nine ninety nine up front and get it for like five eighty three a month. So either or. Um, we are getting every single animated Disney film ever made on this thing. We are getting when, them are we getting? At, at launch, at launch, uh, and then Pixar will come within the year uh, of it launching. So not within this year, but probably within like before November twelfth of next year. Uh, we're getting uh, the Mandalorian series at launch. We are getting a live action Lady and the Tramp at launch. Mm. We are getting uh, over 5,000 Disney Channel episodes, mm. plus over 100 Disney Channel original movies. So, stuff like Halloween Xenon, Town. Halloween Town, yeah. Brink, Johnny Tsunami. Ooh. I could go on and on. Avengers Assemble will be in there. Uh, we are getting the next season of Clone Wars. We are getting um, also the uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision miniseries called WandaVision. What about Hawkeye? Does he have is anything? There, is Hawkeye there anything wasn't, Hawkeye? wasn't officially announced at this event, but it's in the works. It would be in a Hawkeye Kate Bishop miniseries. <laughs> are we sure that's not and, a joke? And we are also getting a Falcon <laughs> and Winter Soldier miniseries and a Loki miniseries, all of which will have the actors from the MCU s- s- reprising their roles. Awesome. That pterodactyl scream. So we've, we've, that we've that got way. all that. Um, <laughs> they are also, we are also at launch, you're getting Captain Marvel off the bat. Like, you can watch it off right away. Uh, to the Billion Dollar Club. They're also going to have 30, all 30 seasons of The Simpsons since Disney now owns I totally the forgot that they got that. Wow. I, don't, I don't so, totally care. didn't care that Does they that got that, that. Is the alien queen a Disney princess? Don't now? care. Uh, Don't. You're also within the year are gonna get every Star Wars movie on this on this app, uh, which will be on Apple TV, PlayStation, Xbox, Roku, a- any any streaming thing you can, you can Nintendo have. Switch. Uh, most likely did not see the Switch name, but I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, they are expecting nine million subscribers the first year, up to twenty three by twenty twenty three, and then so on and so forth. Uh, they'll be launching the U.S. first, and then gradually going through other countries uh, throughout the year. Uh, let me see what else did they announce. Um, right now, currently, Netflix and HBO are both going for like twelve ninety nine and fourteen ninety nine. So the six ninety nine is huge. Like, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's it's hell of cheap. It's so much cheaper. I, I'm I was all for assuming. That price. I was assuming somewhere in the vicinity of twenty oh, and um, seven they're, is they're crazy. Here's Netflix and Hulu. Yeah. Uh, here's another thing. Uh, we're also year. getting uh, a Monsters Inc. show called Monsters at Work. We are getting the prequel to Rogue One, starring Diego Luna and Alan Tunic back as K two S O. A uh, they also announced a slate of nonfiction series, uh, including Kristen Bell's Encore, which is the, in which she reunites members of High School Musical restage. Uh, High School Musicals restage the productions, uh, and a docu-series from director and producer Leslie Iwerks chronicling the Walt Disney Imagineering's 65 year plus year history. We are getting uh, stuff from National Geographic including Jeff Goldblum narr- narrating uh, something called, I think it's called uh, Our World. So what better than hearing Jeff Goldblum talk about the world? I gotta admit, this is, it's a good play by Disney here. Yeah. yeah. That price alone. And I'm impressed I by like, the price point. Like, yeah. Who, who, who upon hearing the price point didn't just go Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. There, there's no. Okay, how much is CBS? Like, Cass and it's I around the same, saving. and we get how many original shows? Oh, exactly. two. What's the other one? The, they're a power play here. This they is it in. This is something that's going to make and Netflix up. We're raising our prices. Yeah, let's pump the brakes on that a little bit, Netflix. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, I'm sorry, Netflix is not in their danger. Their um, price, in danger? the, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it? The budget they have for original series? It's one billion dollars. It's just Disney. They have the budget. They yeah, have, they have all the money they want. Yeah, yeah. No, they're gonna so, make it all with Endgame. So right, uh, it's gonna I, be ad free. That's really, a, Jeez. it's ad free. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. They're just uh, basically just letting that out, aren't they? Just letting. Honestly, that I agree with Cat. Um, Netflix to me is not in danger. To me, Hulu oh, okay. is in Wait. extreme danger because they have ads. 
mm-hmm. and because half of their stuff's going to Disney anyway. Here's here, yep. here's where it says in fiscal 2020, Disney will spend one billions in ca- one billion in cash on original programming for Disney Plus, while it will have just under one billion in operating expenses. Wow. This uh, is. I uh, doubt that it's in cash, but okay. This that's a power play right there. Seriously, kudos no, Disney, just me. and and they will have an annual in the first five years. In year five, it expects <laughs> to have an annual production yeah, slate of yeah, some fifty is. originals. Now, what's the launch date? Disney Plus. November twelfth, twenty nineteen. Two days after my birthday. That's an awesome. Do you birthday think they planned it that way? Yes. Okay. I wonder what else we're gonna hear. Like you know. Are they going to offer any, anything else? Like yes, Hulu? they are talking about doing a Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, Hulu package. Only if Overwatch. Well, uh, since ES, since I mean Disney owns sure ESPN, they own priority. Hulu, yeah. they own ABC. Yeah. Yeah. So Disney owns Marvel, Overwatch League, Star yeah. Wars. I think that's how it goes. Also, think about this: they own ABC as well. Got 100, how many original shows are on ABC right <laughs> now? Oh, yeah. Right. So good. now you've got all that. Yeah. Plus, I get to watch like '90s Disney movies, which I have so that you cannot find on DVD yeah. anywhere. Bye bye Hulu. Yeah. Oh. Well, um, speech and, was fun, but like <laughs> that's ABC as well. That so. is. Yeah, and imagine now with all this, could we get the Defenders? Could we get Daredevil? Uh, all that? Not for, while, two years. But, yeah. not for two no, years. Not for two years. But still, they can do what? I mean, it's. It, I'm sold. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna release like the new series of. The current editions ever they're auctioning off this stuff no here's my question will this kill off dvds and blu-rays no with it with everything being on the streaming service no you don't think so they made they made vhs's for a long time there were vhs's of new movies for a long time i don't think that's gonna kill anything i think it's gonna trickle out while the boomers die, <laughs> like, so eventually, eventually, I mean, there's still people that will not get streaming will. service. So. I mean, I still there are DVDs that I want. I mean, I still it's funny DVDs. to me that you asked that question because I know I, I know I get a lot of DVDs, but at the same time, I'm like, if because like, a lot of ones I get though are like Marvel and Disney stuff, and some of it, yeah, some of them are some other ones, but like a majority of my stuff is a lot from Disney and all that. It's like, well. If I just pay six ninety nine, I can just watch. I don't have to go out and I don't have Toy Story one, two, or three, or whenever four comes out. But pay six ninety nine, I can just watch it on my TV. I don't have to go out and buy it anymore. Yeah. But you don't have all the special features in the commentary, do we? We, we don't, don't know. know. Well, yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. So, but I mean, typically you don't have that now with Netflix or that is yeah, true. Other yeah. streaming services, you don't have that. So a lot of people like those. I mean, I know I do. Features, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like to see how stuff is made, but, all. Yeah. but this is huge. The, that Disney... was, that's a huge announcement from Disney Plus, and just off of that, yeah, I'm good. I'm sold. Yeah, six ninety nine. That's lovely. here's here's my other question: How long is six ninety nine going to last? Uh, like some of the channels, like I I I, yeah. pay, I would have paid up to nine or ten. I'd probably pay ten bucks for this. So I mean, not don't say that too loud. I don't want from you. Yeah. Hey, Jason will pay ten bucks. So that's funny because it was Jason, so he pay ten bucks. Oh, nice. Everyone else. Six ninety nine, Jason and Jason. Nine nine nine. I would have, but if I don't have to, I'm not going. To. So oh. yeah, I think, I think that's how companies work. Yeah, big, yeah. big play. Though. That's that's yeah. huge. That just blows every every other streaming service. I hope hopefully just took notice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, especially price. Netflix. Right. Just saying. For for like their HD is like fifteen ninety nine. Yeah. The standard is twelve ninety nine, and I'm assuming this is gonna be. I mean, it's Disney. They're gonna go. They're gonna get you the, the best. So from the Put, Facebook chat, we have uh, if anyone's thought about this, movie studios once got in hot water for controlling production, well, film processing, printing, and then owning the theaters for distribution. Isn't this similar? Uh, yes. And that's what I said in the chat. Is it similar? It doesn't seem to be turning heads yet. It's it's kind of hard to see at what point they would get involved in the process. Like legal system, but it could Disney. be coming. <laughs> could be coming. I don't know. I mean, Disney could potentially just bleed out any company money wise. It's like we'll take it to court. Okay, fine. We'll we'll just keep. This isn't a company. That would be the government. Oh. Because it's a monopoly concern. Yeah. Well, like a, a a, vertical a, monopoly I think I think Disney could bleed out the government. That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Like, oh, you, like th- oh, you know what? We're just we'll, we'll buy. buy. That would mean that politicians would be corrupt. Come on. That's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking That's of corrupt, Cora. What? <laughs> I mean, clear favorites. But aside from that. Uh, That's Cat and I, right? Cat and I are your favorites. Now, Cora's got Cora's got one of my best one of the best stories tonight because I'm interested. Yeah. Go, Cat go, and I go, are go. your favorites, no, right, Cora? Good story. Of course. It's Thank of you. my interest. <laughs> okay. I'm Girls got to stick tonight. together. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> chill out over here. <laughs> Lot us with your news. All right, so I've got some more anime news for you guys. Shock and awe. But this was actually announced this morning. Um, we are going to be getting two more Roroni Kenshin series, or not series, two more live action Roroni Kenshin movies in the year 29, or 2020. So next summer, we're going to be getting two more Kenshin series. Sorry, we had a Twitch multi sign in disaster. It wasn't a disaster, but we're listening. Okay. <laughs> Um, the adaptions, the, these will be the final ones that they will be doing. The first part covered the cross-shaped scar arc, and the other co- followed the most terrifying enemy, Enishi. Um, these will also, these will still be produced by Warner Brothers Japan. No word on much, like, ca- other casting, other characters, anything like that. Literally all they've posted has been this image and that it'll be the final two in their live action series. It's so pretty. Can right? It, it is, like, from my understanding, because I still have to watch them, uh, the Roroni Kenshin live action movies are considered some of the best anime adaptions for live action that we've had in a while, which is pretty impressive, because they go with a more realistic view on the different characters. They, like Kenshin doesn't have bright red hair. Um, some of the characters, their personalities are, I don't want to say they're watered down, but they're put more in a realistic sense instead of in a um, anime sense, if that makes sense. But I'm excited for this. I'll have to sit down now and actually watch the movies. Yeah, for sure. It's okay, just that it? pretty like thing. Uh, it's beautiful. Sorry, the the artwork that I did, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, like, and the, I lost my train of thought. No. Oh, Pretty um, people. Yes. The current thought process, since the image only had the one scar, it didn't have the cross mark, is that the at least one of the films, or at least part of the, somewhere in the film, there will be a, um, a prequel of some sort to show all of the stuff. Yay! Yes. Yay! Yes, please. Backstory! I, I, I love backstory, especially for a manga that was very rich in story as Ruin Kenshin. Especially for one that... Hi, do you want to watch a lighthearted anime? I hope not, because it's gonna not last <laughs> long. It's gonna be depressing. It went, like, it went from this happy thing to being super serious, like, really gradually to the point that you didn't notice. Okay, yeah. And, like, it was a good thing, but then you would, like, look back on... They were literally arguing about food two episodes ago, and now they're, like, fighting... Okay. Okay. This is Probably fine. Probably not fighting food. This is fine. Probably Doesn't not, no. Likely. So you're gonna actually watch the episodes before you finish Huh? So you're actually gonna finish the other ones now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 She's not a real fan. Oh, Excuse- we're not. Oh. 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 We're not gatekeeping fans. We're not. Community. We're not doing that. We're not those people. But she has- don't but shoot we're me. We're not those people. We don't gatekeep, Jason. Speaking of gatekeeping, let's talk about what real fans know about the Avengers. Let's talk about Thanos, so, the gatekeeper uh, of life. Um, we were we were talking about this before the show. But I kind of accidentally predicted people that were predicted most of the people that died in Infinity War while we were driving to the theater last year to watch it. Rude. In fact, I even said, oh no, because he was like, oh, they're going to kill Iron Man. And I go, no, Tony stays alive because he has to live with it with everybody else. <laughs> and then that happened. I'll scream, I'll kind of like, oh, you're forgetting the best one, Jason. Oh, I did this. Because he's you like, you son of a bitch. As we we're driving there, he's like, and then Shuri's going to live and she's going to be the next Black Panther. Actually, you know what? No, she's not. She's gonna die too. Everybody's gonna die. Like that's a good Jason impersonation, by the way. That was a horrible. 
Oh, well. Regardless. Oh, Regardless. <laughs> yes, it's your fault. <laughs> it was you. Careful with that, the noise on the mic. We were just joking around, predicting like who was going to die, and I got most of my choices right. Okay, can I ask? Iron Man's got to die in this one, though, right? No. No? You don't think I so? think so. No. Is it because Robert Downey Jr. doesn't want to do anything else? I don't. <laughs> no, they don't kill. I don't think Iron Man will die. I think you'll die. I have a crazy theory that I let's, got from Reddit. Go. Let's hear it. That's it's all... a switcheroo. The whole thing is a switcheroo. The people we think are alive are in an AU, and our universe is all the people that died. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Wow. That's, that's meta. So the people that are Ooh. dusted are actually the ones that are alive. Yeah. And the people that are left. What about Captain Marvel, though? Oh. You think she's dead, too? She yeah. responded. So everyone that so, actually disappeared, but we don't is know alive. that it was her. Wow, that was it was a Reddit user that I couldn't find again to credit, but I was like, holy crap, that makes sense to me. That's why because wild. they killed like all their new stars. Yeah, and just from left a financial, the financial, they left all the OG and they killed all the new Aaron's people like, that are already signed to new contracts. Aaron's like, please kill Iron Man. Damn. Rude. Hi, wow. Quickly. Thank you so much for saying I'm right. Um, I love Iron Man, and I'm going to be devastated, but I do think he is going to die. I, I think he, I think he is going to be the one to kill Thanos, and they're going to they're going to die together. Do you think they're going to pull a BVS? I think they're going to die together. Yes. Mm. It's. And yeah, it, so and the thing is, here's, Iron Man here's, 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 here's the theory, here's, here's the theory that, that I saw. If you go back and rewatch. <laughs> Infinity War. Whenever Thanos was fighting all the other heroes, he was just kind of like flicking them off out of the way. Iron Man is the only one he actively tried to kill. If you go back and watch everyone else, he just kind of flicked out of the way. He didn't try to kill Cap. He just kind of punched them and all that. And with Tony, he was about to gauntlet him right there at the end when Doctor Strange like, wait, wait, don't kill him. I'll give you the stone. He's the only one. Iron Man is the only one Thanos is really afraid of. I'm and he killed Loki because, well, that's... Loki turned on him one too many times. That would be stupid if he was only afraid of Iron Man. Like, it really Because they're in each other's heads. He, he should be certainly afraid, afraid of Doctor Strange. He should be afraid of Thor. Huh? He should be afraid of Doctor Strange. Well, certainly. He should be afraid of really anybody with, like, paranormal. He shouldn't be afraid of Star-Lord. And I, I think, I think <laughs> Star-Lord should Star be afraid like, of Star-Lord. Like, I mean, they Trumbles. both have very similar ideologies where like Iron Man wants to save the world so he creates Ultron and and Thanos wants to save the world by destroying half the I'm universe. I'm not saying so they don't it's have like, anything in common. I'm just saying that should not breed fear because even Thanos knew he was nothing until he got all the stones. Yeah. I agree with you thematically. Is... Thematically uh, Iron Man and Thanos are very similar. Um, I think the difference is Iron Man realizes Ultron was a mistake. Thanos does not think that Snap was a mistake. That's why so, he yeah. sat up on the hill waiting for all the people to be proud of him. Yeah, and so I, I don't think Thanos would see their, their similarities because he doesn't think what he did was a mistake. Oh, but yeah. thematically, I agree with you. I think they're both going to die together. I, I don't disagree with that necessarily. I don't think that Thanos is like... I don't know if I agree that he was afraid of him and that's the only one, but I can see them dying together. It's a it's thematically it does make sense. He was he was afraid of him. I do think he uh he might not have been afraid of Wanda like at the beginning, but as soon as uh she thrust her power at him and kind of started doing her thing, you saw confusion on his face. Yeah. Which was really interesting. And mm -hmm. then he started feeling a little bit of that she is more powerful than me. She yeah. is some one that I need to be afraid of. Here's the other thing. Thanos only knew Stark's name. He's the only one that called him by his name. That's true. Didn't yeah. call anyone else. So. I don't think well, Thanos thought anybody was more powerful than him. Oh. But I do think he thought he had to respect some people more than he thought. Jason? She was more powerful well, than Well, unfortunately, there's been a tour release that yeah. is a bit of a spoiler. I'm not going to get into it, but there is a tour release that's out there. Bit of a spoiler. However, is I am... Thanos with his head cut off? No. That would be a spoiler. I am call, I'm calling... <laughs> um, I, I think Gamora is certainly going to die. If we're going to go with the Infinity Gauntlet series, 
I'm not uh, Nakamura. Uh, oh Nebula? Nebula? Dead. I'm calling Nebula die. Nebula Are takes... you calling Nebula gets the gauntlet at some point, though? Because that's also canon. That's also canon. But also, there's time travel involved. Yeah. And I want this. And I, I see, unfortunately, I see Cap dying. But it's going to probably be the most heroic effing death ever. And with time travel, I think Cap's going to pick up Neil there. And everyone in the well, audience is going to just freaking. lose their... Because they're going back. If well, Milner's there, I see hours. Cap, maybe... maybe Because you see that fight, you see what looks like, you know, when he straps the shield on, he looks beat up and everything. Yeah. I mean, that's like a last stand moment, it seems, almost to me. And I would love to see Cap, like, you know, oh, boom, and just start beating the hell out of Thanos. With, Cannon, I, what I, version of Thanos? We don't know. That's the thing. We have no idea the timeline of this movie. Because in one scene, we've got Scarlet Witch with blonde hair, short. And then the next scene, you got it with the ponytail. With the you mean Black Widow? Black Widow, sorry. Yeah. With the uh, blonde with the red. At the end. Yeah. That's clearly some time has passed. And Clint somewhere it's got a, a tattoo sleeve. It's six sleep. months, yeah. For that much hair? Hair grows about an inch every other month. So it's a year. Roughly. The time think, travel aspect is what's going to keep everybody in the loop. Because you see, Doctor. everybody has these quantum suits or whatever, and they all have the Curly devices. Hair, it's slower. They made it a point to put those devices on their hands. So, hey. and we've seen Cap. The little, the one that didn't work in Ant Man. I guess so, probably. It doesn't matter because Paul. I, I don't. To I the think. Shield. I don't think <laughs> Cap's going to die. I think they'll retire his character by leaving him in 1944, 1945. Ooh. And he's going to. He's going to be with Peggy. He's going to have his time with Peggy, and they're just going to die of old age. What a cop or, out. Or, or they'll keep, he'll go back in 1945 in a different timeline. What? It's a, called a cap out. Cor, <laughs> got any wild predictions? Sorry. Is it Ant Man? Is it Ant Man up yeah, the butt? You can turn that thing off. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's not. So my favorite theory has been that they're gonna just put Ant Man up Thanos' butt and have him expand they've again. That. I know that they've already said that's not happening, but I want that to happen. They've said a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust them. I don't Thank trust you Disney. Wooden plank studios for that cartoon I posted. With. There is no butthole, just another chin. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, uh, hmm. because I think Hawkeye is gonna end up having a bigger role now, especially if he's gonna have that TV show. I'm wondering if he will take up the role as leader of the Avengers, because he has before. And that would lead to having either Cap or Tony come back to the films later, because at one point he's like, okay, I can't do this anymore. He led the West Coast Avengers. He led the West Coast Avengers, but he, he I do believe he's also led the regular Avengers. Leader of the West Coast Avengers is like AAA baseball. Are the West Coast Avengers the ones that smoke weed? <laughs> well, I mean, they do now. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It doesn't no. matter. I mean, it's legal. I, that, that's that makes it the best of interest team. Well, hey, I'd like to transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Stark's like, I don't I don't like New York anymore. No, I just picture the Hulk like starting to get angry. You know, I'm just I can actually in the see day and being like here. You know what they yeah. Reaper move. She's on to something though, because the Avengers With have the done se- Well yeah, but the, <laughs> <laughs> But the Avengers have done separate teams before. What if we did see the creation of, a, of two individual Avengers teams? Then we would have seen it in Civil War. But we're getting like, yeah. but we're getting a, we're, we're getting a big. But we're getting everyone in the con, in the quantum suit. We're getting everyone in the quantum yeah. suit. So, I think not, there's room for two Avengers teams. Now. They could split up temporarily, but they have to come together at the end. Like, yeah, yeah, it could so happen. It's, it's a story arc. I mean, even afterwards, like maybe them saying we're forming the West Coast Avengers, which would get a pop out of me. That's not a Disney thing to do. Nobody wants that at a Disney ending, like splitting up. Just not well, they're, within, they're, they got Quinn Jets. Not, f- not with them recently fighting. They could even do the Thor thing, you know, hoist Storm I'm not Raider saying and it's not possible. I'm saying I don't see Disney pulling an ending that way. Okay. Right. I think so. Cap dies. And I just want to disagree with what you said, Ricardo, even though uh, a couple points you said I thought were really good. But I just want to say that... <laughs> Cap dies? Cap dies. I, th- okay. I, think, I think he sacrifices himself um, in a pivotal moment when somebody else is, you know, 
uh, you know, they're, they're very open to the to an attack that's going to it's like jumping terminate the bullet them. Kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. I, I I think I think, um, and I like what you said about you know Molnir. That's certainly a possibility. But I think Cap dies, and I wonder if Loki doesn't show up at a key moment. As well, with time travel in the mix, yep. it's certainly possible. Yeah, if you notice, uh, we could also get Pietro. I, I mean, Quicksilver. If there's well, anybody that, that surprises Thanos in the battle, it's Cap when he grabs his glove because clearly Cap is not stronger than Thanos. But he kind of looks at him like, Really? This yeah. this little man? Huh. Yeah, he this holds him, kid. he holds him back yeah, for a he minute. Was, yeah, he was surprised for a second, like, No way, the, the, this the one? power of friendship. Yeah. yeah, I have another okay. prediction. Maybe talk to this. Uh, Major Ross will be pissed whatever the heroes do. That's the guy with the mustache, yep. right? I hope yeah. he got yeah. dusted. Yeah. Well, no, if he got dusted, that means he's alive. <laughs> Remember, that's according to that theory. That's correct. Okay, that's... okay. No, I have another question for you guys. Will we get any new characters we haven't seen in the movies yet? Yes. Minors, mm -hmm. but I don't know who. I think, like, a no. minor no? one or two. I don't think they're going to introduce anybody. I don't think they're going to have room for that. I, th yeah. I think names will be dropped. That makes sense. Like, they won't be full-on introduced, but it'll be like a, hey, enter name here, this is how, do this, or something. It'll just be a quick thing. Like in Winter Soldier when they drop Strange or whatever. Yeah. They it'll, also dropped, uh, what's it, Cho? Cho? Um, the, uh, Amadeus Cho. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll just be a, be a quick thing. And they've already confirmed, well, I'm sorry, we can't, we, they've already confirmed. They've already said they filmed fake endings for this movie, but they've said that there are going to be no properties from Fox being introduced in this film, which right. I, can, I can believe and understand. No, okay. here's, no, does MCU, does the MCU Marvel own the rights to Namor? Yes. Possibly? Maybe, but not in this movie. Not in this movie. Not in this movie? Sorry, off the top of my head. Uh, he's uh, the Aquaman version of Marvel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If but we he's. Don't get but Moon he's. Knight, I don't want to see it. Moon Moon. No Moon, no, Moon Knight. Knight. <laughs> I have Moon another. Knight or bust. I have another prediction. Okay. Um, I think Scott Lang, Ant Man, distracts Thanos with his close up magic tricks and micro magic. <laughs> uh, you know, so somebody can get in a, a key shot. You know, as possible. He is the up only the magician to survive the snap. Oh shut up. <laughs> Are we going crazy, crazy theories? No, yeah. Wong's yes. still alive. Go as okay. crazy Go as you want. Wong's still alive. Who is? Wong. Wong? Oh, Benedict's, that's true. Okay, two. Benedict Wong. That's not his name in the, in the movie. Call the wizard <laughs> Are we going like crazy, crazy theories? You can go as crazy right. as you want. Three hours is alive. The movie's only going to be 20 minutes long. It's just going to be Captain Marvel shows up, blasts him with her fists, and the whole movie's done. <laughs> They do not rescue oh, anybody. God, I would be so Everyone mad. that's dusted is permanently dead, and everybody that's alive just has to live with it for the rest of their lives. That's my crazy theory. You know what? The sheer anger off my mind <laughs> would generate enough energy to, be, to set the theater ablaze. And then they convince the first showing, the midnight people, to just stay in the theater yeah. for two and a half hours. Free popcorn. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we, weed out the idiots. we should do that. Just weed out the, just like you said, <laughs> we'll weed out the ones that leave before the credits roll or whatever. Yeah. Now there, there's you know, something that has been confirmed for this film, and for the MCU in whole. Uh, and sorry to bring it down, this is Stanley's last cameo. Yeah. Yeah. So what if, like, in death, like right before he dies, like Thanos confront it's it's him in front of Stanley, and Stanley like gives him like a life lesson right before. He, it ends and that's it. That's not why this is Stanley's last cameo. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. You know, maybe something. <laughs> I mean, it'd be awesome. It was, if... it was unexpected. I, I hope that maybe what... Stanley will be in the Hulkbuster armor. Maybe he'll walk in. I'm hoping whatever it is is worthy of Stan's last. Cameo. Yeah, it would be great. I mean, I I would encourage people to look at the body of his cameos. Like yeah. he's been in so many amazing ones that how this one particularly turns out is not important. I have a theory on how, what. I have a theory. <laughs> I have a theory on the cameo. Could be witches. He's going to be a janitor at Stark Tower. He's going to be cleaning up at Stark Tower. <laughs> Mjolnir is there. He just picks it up 
cleans that up underneath it, puts it back down, and just keeps going. I was so while the battle, while a giant battle is happening in New York City behind him. Awesome. Yes, there you go. Absolutely. If it if it involves him picking up Molnir in any way, shape, or form, I will just I burst into tears. Same. What about the introduction of a new threat? It's got to be the. That's got to be post right? credit. Thing. Well, I said like that's if, if there's a post credit thing. What if we saw a glimpse of maybe like well, they, and they said no fox problem, but you know what they lie. What if we saw a glimpse of like the Silver Surfer or Galactus? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> the Silver Surfer after Thanos is like. Well, just it will be you know, and now for it's taste like, of and stuff. also you have uh, flies. How are you gonna deal with that? And huh? they're like calming down, like <gasps> we just beat the biggest, baddest they're guy, just, and it's like, we, oh, no, but the also, Avengers don't need to see him. It can just be at the end of the movie, like a long shot of space, and you just see a guy on a silver board. Just, I'm just saying, it's an anticlimactic bad guy to introduce right after Thanos. I mean, like, okay, I'm right. sorry, the Silver Surfer. Like, okay, okay, all right. I'll you do said you time better. travel, right? Well, well about Surfer, it's hang on, be a prelude to Galactus. Okay. You said time yeah. travel, right? Okay. All you crazy said was theory. The silver okay. Silver silver crazy silver theory, cast. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah. gonna say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Crazy Galactus theory. Is... If we're going time travel, Ultron. everyone, huh? Ultron comes back. No, Voltron. No. Um, if we're going time travel, everyone that's currently alive, uh, everyone that's dusted comes back, but everyone that's currently alive gets sent back to the Jurassic Age. That's my pitch. You know what? That's I would be kingpin is there. Ooh, so they can ooh, have some Jason. That's how we get. That's how we would get. Fight. I can't remember his name. What's his name? The the sorcerer that wanted to bring the dinosaurs back from the dead. The Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, I mean that too. The, but no, the uh, a the uh, the uh, call them scientists. It, no, people. he's he's a he himself is a dinosaur. Sauron. Yes. Yeah. He's, a, yeah. he's a mutant and he's an X Man. Well, he's in the Marvel, in the mutant continuity. Which oh, is, we have which mutants now. By far. We by don't this. have them in the MCU yet. Yeah, hey, Your pitch involved the Silver Surfer. We can go with, what did you say his name was? Sauron. Sauron. Whatever. Sauron. No. <laughs> okay. Like Deadpool shooting him in the butt. You know, <laughs> you know what? We're going with wild and crazy theories. You just one line about, about the dinosaurs. Like, with this, Spider-Man confronts Sauron. He's like, with this technology, you can cure cancer. Why are you trying to create dinosaurs? And Sauron's like, because I don't want to. Cure cancer. I want to create dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs. Well, okay. also because one pitch, of the greatest though. comic books I ever read with Hawkeye was him and Captain America trying to stop him from doing that and fighting zombie dinosaurs, and then Cap turning into a zombie T Rex. Sauron does need to be a, a Cap a, turns a into a zombie T Rex. Yes, I just yes. thought that's of something. Absolutely, what I'm, That's what I want to happen. <laughs> and yes, and geeky geeky said Cap. this on 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 uh, this chat. He said they could mention the Baxter Building. Yeah. What did we learn in Spider-Man: Homecoming? They sold Avengers Tower. Uh huh. Could become the Baxter Building. So Fantastic Four is right there. Or they just drop like. No, thank you. So what? So what happened with the tower? Maybe it's, I don't know. Some guy named Reed Richards bought it. Boom! There you go. No, thank and you. And also, uh, for the other threat, give me a like this. I just. Well, that's what we were talking okay. about. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Celestials. Just... Yeah. 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 Celestial, yeah. Well, we're because we we, we, we got Celestials. we got we got Dormammu already. Yeah. Or Who's... Dormammu. Dormammu. Ah, uh, yes. Dormammu. Dormammu. He's still stuck in a time. <laughs> well, no, he made a deal so he didn't have to. Yeah. <laughs> Screw this. But yeah, why so, not Galactus? Okay. Who else? What's in some of the other celestials? I actually or don't know. Or a celestial that doesn't look like he's got a hammer coming out of his head. That's so, a possibility. Ego's dead. Maybe your oh. ego. Uh, he, he's, he came from a brain, dude, so he could probably come back. Didn't we all? Uh, so we got Dormammu and no, Galactus. Who else is not a celestial? Sparkle. It doesn't have to be a celestial. I mean, uh, don't introduce Doctor Doom yet. No, no Doctor Doom would just be, it would just be too many of the big bad, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and now he's here to take his place. I think you got to build up. Again would anyone from Doctor the, Doom. I know, could any, I know it's in their contracts because they talked about it, but could anyone from the Netflix series appear in this movie? No. No? No. no. There, they, it would be sad, almost. Yeah. Like, I don't know why. It just would. The Netflix series, I think, were amazingly we'll done, we'll but kind of in their own it. little world. Yeah. We'll get back to it. Yeah. I think I, at I, most like, we I get would, from the Netflix is an name drop. I don't, Somehow. I, I don't, these characters are not done. I feel Finally like if they these showed characters up, not this is yeah. why yeah. it would be like too little too late of their stories. They haven't merged to this point. 
and they're taking at the very least like an extended break like I don't want to see them shoved it, it doesn't feel right for their characters they might but I don't mm -hmm. see it happening how, how much more time do we have until Daredevil you said two to three years right two yeah. years so, so. at least how much 2021 story? I think it's the earliest oh we got that Disney plus app you know, three hours is a long time to fill in this movie, assuming it's not the 20-minute film that you envision, Cass. So I, oh, I propose <laughs> so I, I propose that from the comics, what if Thanos wants to bring in his love interest, the balm, to soothe death? the ache death? within Thanos' heart? Are you thinking no, death? no, Taraxia, the terrible. He invented oh, wow. Taraxia. Didn't he have he a created. thing with death for he a while? He, was he, wa death. he was, but she pretty much spurned him. Yeah. And then she said, yes, oh, she I'm peace out. At the end, he goes, like, he's uh, walking up, and we don't see, and he just says, like, I failed. And it's... And uh, reveals on the throne, there's I mean, death. Death is... Is death a villain, usually? Well, he, no, he does all is, that for her. That's fair. Oh, there's, there's usually there's, like a neutral mm, party, right? They would probably yeah. wait for this character for Guardians because it was introduced I'm in the after scene. Like but Adam Warlock. Yeah, I don't know where they're going with that because mm. I mean, we've seen Adam Warlock's chamber twice now. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I thought maybe he might figure into this film, but I don't know if they're going to have room to either. bring in they, another I character. I don't think there will be any new characters introduced. You're about to say something, Corey. Yes, another theory. Pe piggybacking off of Cass's 20-minute 20 20 minute film. Sure, sure. The real movie is after the end credits. That's our end credit scene is the entire movie of <laughs> Avengers Endgame. That's uh, what it is. So, I'm so down for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that if that got, happens, though, they're what? just opening credits. Yeah. We got 14 more days, I guess it all. Ooh, Two weeks. I, I have one more. I have one more. I have Go ahead. I lost it. No. <laughs> Super I mean, I have one. Movie. Go ahead. I was almost in my tongue. I'll, I'll, I'll save you. So, uh, what if Rocket makes good on his, on his uh, claim and he, he steals Bucky Barnes' arm? What if, what, if, what if he takes it from him? You know, because that, would be, amazing. that would be. Extra? I think Surrey would kick his ass. Well, he. She can't. His arm disappeared with, uh, with, his arm with the rest of him. Well, I know, but I'm saying if, if, if he comes back. Oh, okay. okay you know, okay. So you know, this is post. Yeah. Everybody from the time vortex, okay. you know, yeah, if yeah. they if they, you know, they're able to bring him back, you know, I would assume at some at some point in the middle of the film or whatever, they're going to bring right. everybody together, right? Yeah. Maybe. Will, will Coulson make an appearance? Yeah, if it's time travel, yeah, he should. One more, one more. This is the one I was trying to think of. A new hero does join the Avengers to help them fight Thanos. Oh no, I know where you're going with this. And that hero is Deadpool. Nope. Not where you thought you were going with it. Where did you think I was going? <laughs> I squirrel, squirrel Girl! Yeah! Yeah, Ooh, yeah Squirrel Girl! <laughs> Shout out to you, Anna Davis. I don't know why I'll, I'll, both I'll, of our brains went there. I would pay cash money if, like, Deadpool just shows up at the end. Like, did I miss it? <laughs> I had to get my gun back! He would they, be so sad if you missed all that drama. It's like, I just came over here from Fox, what's going on? Care. Just oh, God, he constantly breaks the fourth wall immediately. I'm going to show you the deal took forever. <laughs> Carrying a chimichanga. You oh, got yeah, hungry absolutely. along the way. Now, here, here's the thing what people have been, been kind of clamoring for. Now that our dear Lord Creator Sam is gone, uh, have Deadpool take over his cameos. I saw that. I thought that was interesting. I actually like that. Just have Deadpool just okay. randomly uh, in every MC movie moving forward. Yeah. Well, also, another crazy story, or uh, crazy theory, sorry. Um, Hawkeye shows up, kills everyone, and then brings back the dusted people himself. I'm okay with this. We said wild theories. That is a wild theory. There's a better chance of Hawkeye showing up and getting killed. I was just hoping, up a, I was just hoping for a barrage and, of, hey. of Hawkeye's jagged the same. Uh, arrows hitting... Thanos and the purple balls. The same person that made the cartoon <laughs> with the, the Thanos butt is just another chin. I mean, he also made one, how to get rid of Hawkeye. And Hawkeye's like drawing back his bow. And all of a sudden, the red, you see the red arrow from Yandu's arrow pierce his head, and Thanos is wearing the fan. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, does Yandu make an appearance? It's or do you think he's dead? Only, only to give Hawkeye an arrow. Only to give Hawkeye an arrow. Mm. No, but we're all very much looking forward to seeing Purple, Ron, right. Jeremy. 
Wow. Not Ron Jeremy. Ron Perlman. Ron. Purple Ron Perlman. <laughs> I'm so confused by that. No, no, no. Ron Jeremy didn't have the firm chin. Yeah. Well, what was that? <laughs> he had other assets, apparently. Purple Ron Jeremy. It's purple well, Ron Perlman. Is that right? your next big theory? So we actually see Thanos naked? Does Black Panther but do... Or it's just Mine Ron Jeremy? Or possible. Oh, okay. <laughs> does, Black, does Black Panther do reverse somersault after reverse somersault after reverse somersault and kick Thanos in the groin or no, the head? I think Black Panther gets scared by a piece of fuzz <laughs> and accidentally kicks Thanos in the teeth. <laughs> he just makes a little laser. Okay. Yeah, somebody points a laser in front of him, but he gets too scared <laughs> too of it. Too scared. So he jumps I really high. I think Thanos just okay. like puts a girl in between them, <laughs> and Black Panther just shuts down. <laughs> <laughs> seriously though, he, with the ladies. <laughs> seriously though, he's got he's got that power that that he can he can basically shift whatever you throw at him back yeah, at I you with he, equal force. Right. I mean, that's got that's got to come in play with some sort of. It didn't this time. It didn't. Keep, it didn't in to, the it, previous movie. Yeah, he's got to be taken by surprise. Otherwise, it just doesn't yeah. work. Yeah, that'll shut that off like nothing. He sure did. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, those are our wild in-game predictions. We got two weeks until this movie, and uh, I guess it all depends on how long you can watch a three-hour movie. Remember, small movie. sips. No, small yeah, sips. I am fun. willing to split a pack of the pins with the guys on the show. I'm just saying. Just, just saying. No judgment okay. here. By the way, will any of you guys pay five grand for a uh, opening night ticket? No. No, okay. obviously. I got mine for a lot cheaper. That's dumb. Okay, yeah, those people on eBay. And Craigslist and Most stuff. people are dumb. Yeah. You're dumb if you bought an in-grand ticket for $5,000. Um, depending on your disposable income. I mean, if I've got $5,000, I'm going to try and get me some uranium. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Apparently, it's not that hard. The I FBI mean... is showing up at your house. Tonight. <laughs> well, they showed up at this house, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is our show. Uranium party. Us. Yeah, you can sure. always comment later. Tell us your wild in-game theories down in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube. And make sure you sub to our Twitch channel, www.twitch.tv slash scnslive. I don't know why I said www. But also, sub and like to youtube.com slash scnslive. Like us on Facebook and Twitter at scnslive. But if you want to follow us individually, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason Yux. Find me on Instagram at BetterCat. Or you can find me on Twitter drawing terrible drawings oh, of oh. Overwatch cartoon caster moments at Doa Drawings. We have like 120 followers. <laughs> We're all got it's really sad drawing. if you think about it. Yeah. Uh, you can find me uh, at Cass underscore Bradley. That is K-A-S underscore Bradley on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter is for hot takes. Instagram is for random, mostly actor stuff. You can also find me at Now With Milk, as in now you didn't have milk and now with milk. For uh, acting stuff, it's my comedy YouTube channel. I commented on that photo you all posted on Instagram. You're going to have to be more specific. The one with your face going. Fair enough. <laughs> Find me in the grocery, grocery aisle. I can't even say grocery. Looking for bell peppers that satisfy me. I think grocery aisle hasn't been a thing since the 1920s. Uh, since Walmart I've never even heard didn't of it. have a super center. Yeah. Find me on Facebook and Instagram, <laughs> Bryce Culver, and also on Instagram with Trapdoor Toys for toy photos. Mm -hmm. You can find me on Instagram at AlamoNerd89. I am doing the 365 day challenge. I, today was day 101, and I haven't missed a day. I misnumbered, but I haven't missed a day. <laughs> So, but I'm at 101 days and counting. So keep an eye, uh, keep an eye for that. I'm running out of ideas to take pictures of stuff. So help that's me. commitment. <laughs> I, I've done 100 days. I got 264 to go. Yay! Cora, you can find me on Instagram at Corodono. It's spelled underneath me. I don't feel like spelling it today. Um, I post artwork and cosplay related things. You can also. <clears throat> Follow me on Twitter at Hawks Perch, where I scream into the void about Moomins and Hawkeye and, of course, Suikoden. So if you like Suikoden, please join me on Twitter and talk to me because I'm lonely. I don't have many friends there and that will talk to me about are, this. Aren't you doing something else this weekend? Yes, we are also going to be having our D&D, our bi-monthly bi D&D game this Saturday. 
We will be going live at 4 p.m., 3 p.m.? Uh, Did we decide? Live at 3? 4. Okay, we, go, we will be going live at 4 p.m. Central Time. So be sure to turn, turn, ugh, tune in to twitch.com slash Live to follow the adventures of this ragtag group as we, they go deeper into the magical forest where they so just out. <laughs> to find out what is trying to kill them. Yay. I'm not. I don't like any of you that much. <laughs> <laughs> so let's In plug character. It out. Thank you. Well, yes, Come join us. D&D. It's gonna be fun. Uh, also, check what. I said real quick. Also, keep an eye out on our page on SNS because it is Star Wars Celebration Weekend, and there's oh, a yeah. giant mural there that's like from every movie, and then the last section is is like. It's they have a cough over it. So. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of news this week from Star Wars Celebration. Uh, a lot. Of, keep it out on the Facebook page. That's yeah, we're going to post a lot of stuff. Yeah, possibly also, a trailer. Uh, check out our last review, an all new 4K tour review, where I review the Thanos Builder Fear Wave. Which one? The Thanos Builder Fear Wave. Is it that guy? It's, it's the armor Thanos. Builder. Okay. It's really cool. With his spinny spinny toy. So thank you all for joining us out there in the super cool nation. I am Jason the Tenth. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No, no. No, thank you guys. We'll see you next week for an all Star Wars show covering everything that we see at Star Wars Celebration. But until then, guys, as we always say, keep, keep on, on nerding. Thanks for saving the universe, Thanos. Snap. Whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. No. That was sure, a, whatever it takes. That was a that was a joke. That was a Bon Jovi show. Yeah. That is our show. Thank you so much for listening. If you'd like to check out the live video version of this, you can find it at YouTube and Facebook. You can also find us on Instagram and Twitter, all at SCNS Live. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week.